Hey fellow explorers and curious minds, welcome aboard World Facts Unraveled, where we're chugging off the beaten track to explore the UK's railway oddities. Today's mystery, the ghost trains of nowhere. These aren't your typical express routes to bustling cities. No, these phantom locomotives traverse seemingly deserted landscapes, leaving you wondering, who on earth are they going to meet at the end of the line? Buckle up, because we're diving into the quirky contracts, historical quirks, and hidden purposes behind these enigmatic journeys. Number 1. The Isle of Man Anomaly Picture a picturesque island where a tiny train chugs merrily through lush meadows. Sounds idyllic, right? But here's the twist. The Isle of Man's railway ends abruptly in the middle of nowhere. Why? Well, back in the day, this short line was built not for passengers, but for quarrying limestone. Today it's a charming heritage train, offering short trips and a glimpse into the island's history. Who needs a destination when the journey itself is an adventure? Number 2. The Chilton Contractual Conundrum Ever heard of a train franchise agreement so specific that it practically orders a company to run a train to nowhere? Enter Chilton. This sleepy Oxfordshire village boasts a single train service per week. Why the bizarre schedule turns out it's all thanks to a historical legal loophole. The train company's contract stipulates a minimum service, and running one empty train is cheaper than rerouting or negotiating. So, a ghost train rolls silently through the countryside, a testament to the power of legalese. Number 3. Preserving tracks one empty train at a time. Not all nowhere journeys are accidental. Sometimes maintaining the tracks themselves is the ultimate destination. In areas with low passenger numbers, running an empty train keeps the line operational, preventing disuse and expensive repairs. Think of it as railway preventative maintenance with a touch of mystery. Plus, it gives track inspectors a scenic ride. Number 4. Ghost Stations and Forgotten Futures Some nowhere stations hold stories whispered by the wind. These abandoned platforms, like Difi Bridge Halt in Wales, were once bustling with passengers. But changing travel patterns and economic decline left them stranded in time. While no trains stop there anymore, these silent stations serve as poignant reminders of a bygone era. And sometimes local communities even work to preserve them as historical landmarks. So the story of nowhere trains isn't just about the past. Some are experiencing a quirky renaissance. Heritage railways are restoring vintage locomotives and offering scenic tours transforming ghost trains into tourist attractions. Others are being reimagined as cycling paths or nature trails, giving these forgotten lines a new lease on life as green corridors. So there you have it, folks. The next time you hear about a train to nowhere, don't be fooled by the empty platform. There's more to the story than meets the eye. A tangled web of contracts, history, and even a touch of environmental concern. And who knows, maybe one day, some of these ghost trains will find their way back to a bustling, passenger-filled destination. What are your thoughts on the UK's nowhere trains? Share your theories and favourite quirky railway stories in the comments below. And remember, sometimes the most interesting journeys are the ones that surprise you most. Thanks for joining me, and until next time, happy exploring.